Okay, so we're going to do another dev test video today. It's been a really productive day, actually. I've managed to get a few features implemented, several bugs corrected. I'm going to keep this pace up. It's pretty good. Kind of happy I took the some advice that I was given. I was told literally get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and then get your shit done. Well, it's working out pretty good, so... We're going to really quickly set up a small command silo base. So of course the what I'm going to be showing here is the laser detonator. Um, this has been a long time coming. Um, uh, I wish I could have had it implemented sooner, but eh, life has its ways of kind of slowing everything down. But nothing to fear. We shall get stuff coded today. So, really quickly link these together. Sure that we are getting, yep, we can fire that silo even though there's nothing in it. Um, which, really quickly encode this. Not quite literally. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I need to name everything. Uh, silo 1, save. And then, I believe I have to turn everything on. Kind of forgotten how to do everything, to be frank, that, uh... Okay, network true. I believe I just have to name this. Group ID, test, display name, test, save. And I should be able to go here, and well, I, I'm not sure what happened to the. I think there's still a bug if you leave stuff. <coughs> actually, actually, I don't think it's a bug. I think it's still in my inventory or something, but I don't remember. I know there's an issue with if you leave this in here and you exit, because what's supposed to happen is supposed to drop. As you can tell, it did not do that. Oh, uh, actually, there's it's in my inventory again. Yeah, it's an update issue. Code, here we go, set for single silo mode. Now, if I coded this correctly, all we have to do is stick a missile in the silo over here, and I should be able to call it down on whatever I'm selecting. Uh, just like the remote detonator, I have done zero testing before this video. I know it's hard to believe, but it, it sometimes works out. What's this? Oh, Bowcraft Spring. That's cool. Good to see those actually freeze over. Okay, so we're firing endothermic cells. Okay, that should actually work. It launched, it's gonna come down. Now if it comes down on target, we know it's successful. If it, uh, I think it's target. That's close enough. It's within the uh, inaccuracy pattern. Uh, yep, and it puts snow everywhere, and as you can tell, the missile uh, will survive. I'm still working on getting my modeler to uh, give me versions of this missile that have been completely and absolutely wrecked. Um, hey, the snow render is even working. It's good to see that's working. Because what this does, by the way, is it takes over the render for snow, um, so that the missile can stick out of it and still encompass the same exact block. At least I think it is. I actually, uh, I don't think it actually did that. We can pick up my missile again. But uh, we need another test. Let's get something a little bit more destructive. And I'm trying to think of what the range is on this. I gotta set this, it's not solid so I don't have snow on the top of that. Um, the range on the detonator is two kilometers. However, I believe that antenna is probably only a hundred feet something. Let's see. Remote detonate. Now, if you guys are familiar with the old version, the old version put a laser on the ground and called everything. I'm not going to re-implement that. It was cool. I, I, I really believe it was cool. I can implement it if I want to. But realistically, this uses an infrared diode that is not visually s viewable. And in real life, you don't get your little laser coming down. That's a, that's a totally a video game thing. 
I may add a mod to do it for those that really love that old visual, but um, yeah, it's working. That's uh, real easy. I just like the rem radar gun. This uses client side code to send the target data to the server. Um, don't worry about that. It, the only thing it's going to probably cause is if there's some packet failure, the target will not be sent. Other than that, there should be no problems. Uh, hackers can't abuse that uh, because this item is encoded to the remote de to the launcher, meaning they would have to have a similarly encoded item, and you can't force encoding on the server, so the item would still have to be encoded server side. Because this is passworded, uh, also I'm, I might like the note, only in dev mode does the password show up. Normally you can't see it. There's no way to copy it. Um, they could, in theory, get it client side, but there's no way to force it to encode server side. So nobody can hack into each other's silos and cheat that way. Um, and if they cheat and end up forcing this detonator to fire on somebody else's inventory, it's only going to work if it's in the player's hand. And if they force a detonation, if it's in the player's hand, they're not really doing anything. Most likely, if somebody has this out, they're getting ready to fire it anyways. But uh, that's that's it. It's it's working. I'm actually surprised how easy these are going together. Um, <clears throat> I mean, the radar gun. I I I wasn't surprised how easy it went together because I looked at the old code real quick and made sure it checked up. This I legitly just mashed the radar gun together and the remote detonator and kind of fixed the code up, cleaned it up, made it work. Implemented. I had to implement some more code for this block here, I believe. Um, no, it's actually not this block. I believe it's this block actually controls the firing. Because what this does, this scans, it finds this, and then goes, okay, hey, what kind of silos do you have? And it goes, hey, I got this silo, finds this, and then marks the target, then fires it. Um, it does the same procedure almost to the letter as the remote detonator. The only difference um, is it says the target first. So it, if one breaks, the other will break is a good way to put it. But yeah, this isn't working. I'm not sure why there's still a missile in the silo. I'm actually kind of confused on that. Well, still probably have bugs to figure out. Um, I believe this is craftable. Let's see what the crafting recipe is. Yeah, it's a remote detonator with some glowstone and stuff. Uh, I had a buddy of mine come up with that recipe for me. Okay, so something tells me there's not actually a missile in the silo. And that for some reason client side didn't update. Yeah, it didn't update client side. Occasionally that'll happen. Um, there's no double render checks on a lot of things. So if it fails to update render the first time, and there's nothing going to tell it to update the second time. Yeah, it's working really well. A little bit longer dev video than normal, but so happy that works. It means you guys have laser detonators. Two kilometer range, remember that? It means your antennas, antenna's also going to have to match that range if you want to maximize it. Because how it works is, even though this is two kilometers, if the antenna you're sending to is not two kilometers, you can't broadcast at two kilometers. So if the antenna you're broadcasting to is, say, only like 300 meters, your limited range of your laser detonator is 300 meters. You also want to make sure that this is chunk loaded because what this does is this sends out a message. This message is received by all antennas within range. It is then up to the antenna to transfer the message to the controller, then the controller to decide if it's that message is coming from the appropriate detonator. This is how it works in real life, surprisingly. Um, when you send out a message, everything in, it, it receive, it receives that message. It is up to whatever receives that message to figure out what to do with that message. It's like th similar to how cell phones work. Cell phones send out a message, but your radio doesn't pick them up, even though they work off of similar components. And although that's also because they're on different frequency, but let's not get into the details. I'm just in the video here. I'll be working on more content today. Um, and if I keep up the sleep schedule and everything, I'll be popping off updates pretty quickly. I'll see you all later with a... Uh, New video, hopefully.